Islands are one of the world's most unique and valuable ecosystems. In their natural state, they store huge amounts of carbon beneath the surface of the soil. This ecosystem covers less than 3% of the Earth's surface. However, contains twice as much carbon as the world's forests. Tropical peatlands in Indonesia are known as one of the most carbon-dense terrestrial ecosystems on Earth and are continuously under threat. Draining, logging and conversion to palm oil plantations lead to enormous greenhouse gas emissions to the atmosphere. Policy makers and scientists have suggested that rewetting degraded peatlands in Indonesia would be a cost-effective approach and strategic natural climate solution to reduce carbon emissions and achieve the country's climate commitment. Yet, there is a poor understanding of how far rewetting degraded peatlands may reduce net carbon emissions. In West Kalimantan, Yayasan Konservasi Alam Nusantara has conducted technical research to obtain field data from what is likely the impacts of rewetting peatlands on carbon and methane emissions from various land use types. Based on our analysis, rewetting over more than 10% of maximum NCS mitigation potential in Indonesia. West Kalimantan is among the top five provinces with the largest opportunity for emission reduction from peatlands ecosystem. We collaborate with Tanjung Pura University to assess the impact of rewetting on greenhouse gas emissions and to quantify ecosystem carbon stocks on peatlands. Manfaat sekat kanal dibangun adalah untuk mencegah kebakaran. Ketika sekat kanal dibangun, maka air akan tertampung. Manfaat lain dari sekat kanal adalah ketika petani membutuhkan air untuk untuk menyiram tanaman, untuk menyiram apa yang mereka tanam itu. Natural climate solutions such as rewetting peatlands clearly form a launchpad towards better climate change mitigation practices. Peatland provides answers for a sustainable Indonesia.